Hi, this is Venkat. Uh, I'm a software trainer and IT consultant. Uh, this is on the latest technological trend, uh, programming language as Python. So in this video, we're going to see about like uh, what is Python and uh, how the Python is used and uh, where you're exactly using and everything at a short. So Python developers are the major people. They are getting the huge salary in the current trend. Almost they paid almost 116K per year. So that's a huge salary, you know. So let's start it. What is Python? Python is an interpreted high-level language. And apart from that, it's created in the year of 1991 by Gaijo van Rossum. So they named it after a famous British group, that's a British comedy group Python. And apart from that, this is an open source software and it's freely available. If we talk about why we are going for Python, Python is beginner friendly and it's versatile and it's really friendly for the other technologies. And they, it's really useful like, and it's famous for its uh, machine learning world. And apart from that, you've got a lot of libraries around and uh, you can use it for uh, implementing multiple stuff like uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, everything. Python, it's an interpreter. So usually the softwares which we are talking about Java and other stuff, they call this compiler, right? Why? Python is called interpreter. The reason is uh, you got the Python code. The Python code is compiled via the compiler with the Python compiler and it's moved to and it's converted into the bytecode. The bytecode is converted into any environmental language via the virtual machines. It can be a Java virtual machine or to implement in the Java world or to like kind of a .NET virtual machine to implement in the .NET world. So as I told, your Python source code is compiled by the compiler into the bytecode. And the bytecode will be using any kind of libraries, Java, .NET or any kind of libraries in a virtual machine and it's converted into your running code. That's why, so Python is compatible to any operating system. So here is a simple example. If considering I want to run in a donut world, in that case, Python is converted into CLR codes and using the IN Python software, so your .NET environment is created and your Python code can be executed to execute in the, to run in the operating system like Windows. Why are like, uh, if you're considering I want in the Java world, in that case, your Python is converted into JVM code. And it's Java virtual machine, using virtual machine, it's converted to JVM code. And using Zython, your Python is executed in the Java world. So as I told, Python is a kind of a multiple language, multiple property language. The reason is like, in the left side, you've got scripting languages, TCL, Perl, they consider scripting languages. Whereas the high level language like C, C++ and .NET are considered as compiled language. Python got the property of scripting and also a compiled language. So which enables to execute and it's compatible with any operating system like Windows, Mac and Linux. So here is a simple example. I'm trying to show you how Python works. Over here, this is a code which I've written for C language. And this is for C++, Java. Whereas Python is very simple. You are able to see only one line of code. So Python is a real simple language. Considering if you want to like, uh, start your Python, this is a URL. Go to this URL and start executing or installing your Python and you can write the codes. If you want to create the website, Python. So we need some of the softwares like either Django, uh, Flux Web Development, Pylons, Web2Py. These softwares are used in the web development world. For artificial intelligence is a SkyKit, Learn, TensorFlow, Keras and OpenCV. Whereas a desktop app and game development, you need Tkinter, Zython, Pygame, WX Python, and Kiva. So these are the softwares I use. Considering I've written the code in Python, so whether we can test it or not, yes. So to test the software, we need a lot of features. Everything is available in Python, like a cross-platform support and also cross-browser testing. And apart from that, it got a lot of libraries, which is which it enables, which is uh, really useful for them to go for fastest workflow and debugging properties. The software used for testing the Python is a Selenium robot framework and PyTest. In the big data world, so Python supports uh, parallel computing which enables it to do a lot of map produce programming in the world of big data. So these are the softwares available PyDo, PySpark and Dask, D-A-S-K. These are the softwares used in big data whereas in data science it got the software like Pandas, Matplotlib, NumPy. 
So Python is well suited for doing a lot of data manipulations and analysis, whether you want the table data or matrix data, yes, we can provide it using Python language. So here is the very important one, the salary. So Python, for Python, almost 116k USD is the yearly salary that people are paying. And if it is in Indian rupees, it's almost 84 lakhs. And it's one of the most wanted like uh, job opportunities in the IT world. So we talk about the companies using Python, so Google, NASA, Mozilla Firefox, IBM, like uh, there are a lot of companies, Dropbox, YouTube, Facebook, Netflix, Walt Disney, everyone is using Python. I say thanks for watching this video. Like uh, if you're looking for more videos, you can subscribe to our channel and you can share this one, just this video to your friends. Thank you.